Wobbadub Dub YouTube, welcome to this Rick and Morty Season 3 Episode 2 video. So I am super, super hyped. I mean, we had Game of Thrones, which you can check out on my channel. I did a review of that earlier. I've also done a video on Legends Tomorrow, which you can check out. But we had Game of Thrones, we had Preacher, we also had as well Rick and Morty, which is the reason for this video in one day. What did we deserve to do this gloriousness? So if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is super appreciated on this. And wow, what an episode. Personally, I wasn't a fan of the new Mad Max film. I mean, I thought it was just like Furiosa in the movie. We never saw much of Max, which was a real shame. And to be honest, I prefer the original movies, which were a lot better, to be honest, because, you know, Mel Gibson killing people is always good. So this is very much a Mad Max film. I was kind of, I thought it was weird that they called it Ro Rick Mancing the Stone. I mean, obviously, that is a reference to Romancing the Stone. And we've got a Mad Max episode, which was really, really strange. But again, it's a fucking cartoon. I guess, what do you expect from it? But the whole episode was absolutely awesome. I loved the start where Jerry was standing there wearing like a weird coat and a hat and he's like trying to get back to his family who just don't give a shit. It seems like it is just really only one person in the family who actually cares about him. And I absolutely thought that was heartbreaking. I love the fact when it was just like we saw Jerry and everyone else went through the portal and he just walked off and it just goes, loser, which was so funny. And he was like, huh? Hey, I think that the voice person who voices him can't remember the name of the top his name off the top of my head, which is really annoying because I, I love him in the Lonely Island songs, and he is hilarious. He really, really the timing, the cadence, everything is just great about the person who plays Jerry. I love, I love that, and the, I love the fact that we just went balls deep in this episode. We went straight into it. And they were literally trying to get that stone, which turns out it was just it was just really good. They really did play up the whole Mad Max thing really, really well. And the writers of the episode, it was really funny. I mean, a lot of the time I don't sit there and laugh out loud at Rick and Morty. I just kind of go, huh. But I enjoy the, the episode, so that's why I like it. And this episode really did have a lot more out, kind of out loud laughs, especially when he was like, are you guys using that Thunderdome over there? And the guy's like, what, do you mean the blood dome? And he's like, no, well, the, you can save that for the semantic dome, which was really hilarious. So obviously, I'm not going to portray it as well as the episode portrayed it, but it was really, really funny, and I love that. And I love the fact that this was very much about Summer and her dealing with the kind of... I thought he was the leader of the kind of cannibal people, but that was like that weird prince dude, which we never really heard much about. But it was really cool seeing or hearing Joel McHale. And the funniest bit was when he takes off the mask and he's like, got the moustache. And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's nice. That, that's okay. And that was just really, really funny. I think the way they portray this episode where it being about Summer just being weird and like them not really caring about her being weird. And then she kind of just decides, they decide to stay in this kind of escapist world which was pretty funny, to be honest, and I really did like that in the show, and I like the way they portrayed the divorce as well. It's really deep. It's so surprisingly deep, this episode, when you look at it, and we had, as well, Morty, when he has the arm. He has the arm in the kind of blood dome, and I love the fact that like, the kind of muscle transfer thing didn't work all that well, and it was just, like, really disturbing. He had this sort of ghost arm that had a backstory that was killed by this... King, this king or this person who was with slaves and all this. It was just hilarious watching that. I thought I really did like that. And I really, really did like that, to be honest. I really did like that way of doing things. Kind of, He was really just taking his anger out on everything there. And then Summer's arc, where she kind of learnt to accept this divorce by actually getting married. And I love the fact that once they get electricity, he's just sitting there like a slob on the sofa watching the Blood Bowl playoffs, which was really, really funny. And the whole thing as well with the robots being absolutely terrible, where they just say the thing, say the 
like the the slang that Morty and Summer would actually say, but they're just like really shit. It's like, yeah, I want to go, I want to go out swimming and everything. I want to do that, and it was just. It just didn't work whatsoever, and their mother just didn't notice that they were gone at all, which was pretty disturbing, to be honest. However, it was it was a good episode, and we got Jerry as well moving, uh, kind of, in summer. They're, they're back to being, like, father and daughter, and actually kind of come on some redemption thing there. But I'm not too sure where we're going to go next with the show, but it was a really, really good episode. I loved it a bit and it was really really fun and the show really has not suffered from having an extended break whatsoever but that is it for this video please drop a like please do subscribe i'll see you soon goodbye